Today I'm gonna be trying out a not so new but still weird product, the Eye Magic Instant Eyeshadow, which promises an eyeshadow look in just 10 seconds. So these are like foam strips that come with your lid, crease, and brow bone highlight all in one. You're just supposed to apply them to your eye, swipe, and be left with a gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow look. I don't think that's what's gonna happen here today, but maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. I've watched a lot of videos on these and they look interesting, but I thought it would be cool if I had a bunch of my friends test them out as well since we all have different eye shapes. I think I'm gonna go for this purple haze color. I am not good at doing my own eyeshadow, so I think going for something more monotone would be safer for me. I'm still really nervous. I don't know what's about to happen, but I don't want it to look like a hot mess. Like I wanna make it look as good as possible. I have nothing on my lids right now. In the tutorial that I watched from the Eye Magic Company, it says that you don't need any sort of primer or base, so my lids are completely bare. It says that you're supposed to close your eyes and raise your eyebrow, probably to give yourself the most amount of lid space possible. Then using both hands, you're supposed to hold the applicator at the base of your eyelid for at least four seconds probably for that heat technology to kick in. Then you're supposed to apply pressure and slide the applicator off the lid and lift up once you reach the end of your eye. The last step is to use the applicator to blend in the shadow, which is so confusing to me. I don't understand how that's gonna work. I'm giving up on that. <laughs> I'm picking up my brush and I'm just blending it to make it look less severe. So I can't say that that didn't work. I just don't know if it looks good to me. I think the quality of the eyeshadow is very reminiscent of like a Claire's palette. It's just a lot of shimmer, very chalky, not very pigmented. But let's see how these work out for my friends. My eye shape is pretty deep set and I have a protruding eyebrow bone. So I just don't think that this product is gonna get into the contour of my eye in a way that's gonna look good. It does say eyes in 10 seconds. It doesn't say how good those eyes are gonna be. And it blended into just a whisper. As you can see, when I started blending this into each other to get it to be more smooth, I just lost like 90% of that pigment. So I'm gonna say it doesn't look terrible just because it doesn't really look like much. I am the type of person who owns probably 95 eyeshadow palettes and just looks at them because they're pretty, but doesn't use them because I'm scared. I'm gonna go with this lighter neutral just because I don't think I look great with darker colors on my eyes. I also think it's a safe bet because this will be much easier to blend out than a darker color. This feels incredibly silly. I think they probably tell you to blend with the applicator because it won't blend all of the pigment away, but it's just not feasible to blend without an actual blending brush. You can't really blend with that sponge. I would definitely say that it was quick to use. You place it on your eye, you hold it, you take it off, and it's there. Would I say that it looked good in that time? No. I already think that this looks too small for my eyelids that are already small. If I look straight, you can't see any of my eyelids, so I like to take my eyeshadow up pretty far, like past my crease. It's not looking like it's gonna show up on me. Place it at the base and hold it. I don't know if I should close my eye or not. You can see it for sure. Oh, it's kind of blending into nothing. I think the applicator actually ended up being too small for my small eyes and you wouldn't be able to see it unless I was looking at you like this. I definitely don't think I can sit here and say that the Eye Magic Instant Eyeshadow actually works. None of us had really super successful tests with it. I do think it was really quick when it came to application, but the outcome was just so not good that I don't see myself reaching for this over a regular eyeshadow palette. And that is coming from somebody who sucks at eyeshadow.